Hey guys, welcome back. So the reason that I haven't had any videos up on YouTube recently is because I've been a little bit concerned about the audio quality that I get from my inbuilt microphone on the iPhone, which is what I use to shoot my videos. So what I've done, I've gone out and actually I've, I've seen a few reviews. And so what I've done is I bought this microphone. It's a Movo LV1 microphone. It's a powered microphone, unlike other ones you can get. So I just thought I would do a, re a review on this. Uh, the sound quality that comes out of it that I've seen on the videos is, you know, it's pretty spectacular. Obviously, nowhere near as good as the microphones, you know, you'd, you'd spend upwards of £50 on. This one only cost £16.99 from Amazon at the time of buying. That was about a week ago. So what I'm going to do is we'll have a look at this one. Uh, just to compare it, we'll compare it against the iPhone uh, microphone itself. I've also got a cheap little tacky microphone, no power source whatsoever. And we'll also try it with the iPhone mic as well, the, the headphone mic that people use for the hands-free. There we go. So one of the reasons I bought this is because of the length of the cable. What you find is an issue with some of the I, uh, microphones you can buy out there is that the cable length is ridiculous. It's like a metre long. So you can't do anything with it whatsoever. Which is why I've gone for this microphone because you'll see when we open this box how long the cable actually is. So let's get into this thing. So here's the microphone itself, little cover thing. Uh, so it comes with a little clip. Uh, we've also got a microphone speaker splitter, which is nice. A quarter inch jack here, so you can go from quarter inch down to three and a half millimeters. So that's good if you want to plug this into, say, like a PA system, because most of them, if they haven't got those three pin plugs, are going to have one of these. The microphone itself, and the clip, and the battery. So the battery on this microphone is the important thing. It's some, some people don't realize most of the time is that if your microphone's not powered, it has to take power from, well, most microphones, they take power from a different source. So with an iPhone, the built-in one, it's taking it from the battery at the minute. Uh, so something like this one as well, all this is going to do is take the power from the iPhone itself. Because this one is powered itself, it should have much better levels on it than what a normal built-in microphone should have. So what we'll do is we'll just quickly piece this thing together. So, as I was saying, this is the reason that I bought this microphone over some other microphones. Because look how long, you can imagine how long the cable is. It probably tells us on the box the length of the, six meters. So, the advantage of that is you can film from a distance. Uh, well, you can film, have the camera set up at a distance, and you can be six meters away from the camera. Now I think this is the length of the six meters. It doesn't actually account for the length here that the microphone itself is actually attached to. So something to be aware of with this one is you can use it for a smartphone, which is what I'm gonna be using it for, but you can also use it for a camera as well that has a built-in uh, audio jack. Uh, so on this little power unit here, as you can see, you can switch it between camera and smartphone. So off, uh, I think it just means it, it does something inside out. So we want smartphone as opposed to camera. So what we can do, and in fact, first of all, uh, just to point out with this. So this microphone speaker, this is if you want to check the levels of recording whilst you're actually recording something. So if you want to, say, plug into a speaker and a microphone at the same time, uh, you can do that, that's what this is for. So you would just plug this side into your in-source. So you might need to plug it into the jack or not. Uh, and then you can go to your mic and then to your speaker at the same time. The video capture software that's built into an iPhone doesn't allow you to actually... Second, just plug the battery into my phone. The I've, uh, the recording software on the iPhone, as I was saying, it doesn't actually allow you to record, uh, listen back to audio at the same time as recording, if that makes sense. 
mainly because it's the same jack for both speaker and microphone. The other thing to be aware of when you're buying uh, microphones and speaker jacks is the number of pins you have on the end. Remember, because it's the same input for your audio and microphone, you need to have the three lines, and, you know, just to have your four contacts there, as opposed to something like this, which is just a audio splitter. So this one can split audio and microphone. This one can only split audio. Uh, this is just a cheap, tacky, maybe thing. So what we'll do then, we can set up our testing. So move everything out of the way. So we've got the Movo LV1. I'm not even sure what this one is called. A newer lapel microphone for the uh, it's a cheap and nasty thing from Amazon. And we've got the iPhone headphone and speakers. And of course, what you're listening to me right now. So what we'll do first is we'll plug in uh, the microphone speakers. So what I'll do is I'll put this as if I was actually power recording. So I'll stick the headphones in and see what the audio is like. Unfortunately, I won't know what the audio is like until I actually play this video back. So hopefully it'll be good. So let's just plug this in. Okay, so now we're recording from the iPhone headphones themselves. So uh, I've got a fish tank on in the background, so I don't know if we'll be able to pick that up with this. The microphone itself sits into a little bit where you change the volume control, so it's a little bit higher than where a clip-on microphone might sit. So yeah, so this is the headphone set for the iPhone. So we'll now unplug that one. So now we're back to the iPhone itself. It's a bit weird when you're talking with headphones and you kind of feel like you have to speak up a little bit. So now we're just preparing the cheap 99P one. So this has got a little clip on it. Get in the camera. So we'll clip that on as if we we're actually going to speak with it. Okay, so now we're going to the cheap, tacky, unpowered 99p microphone. So we're now on with the cheap microphone, the one that I picked up from Amazon for 99p. Free post and packaging as well. I think it came from China. Uh, I'm not sure what again what the sound quality is going to be like on this, if it's going to be good, if it's going to be bad. Again, we're all comparing this back to the iPhone as to whether or not you actually need to buy a microphone for your iPhone. I think you do. You guys might not think you do. Uh, so that's the cheap and tacky, tacky one. So we're now back on iPhone, but now let's hope that this one is a good one. So this bit clips to you, there's a little clip here so you can like clip it in your pocket or something uh, with your little microphone slot. So it's worth noting that the clip on this is really heavy duty, it's metal, it's a really strong pin as well. So I'm going to set this at the same point that I set the cheaper microphone, this Amazon one. It's set to smartphone. So let's see what this is like. So now we're on to the Movo LV1 microphone. So I'm really hoping that the videos I watched weren't a lie and the audio is as good as I'm hoping. Again, we're trying to see if there's any background noise or anything like that. Uh, this is omnidirectional, so what I'm just going to do is I'm going to take it off and I'm just going to move it around my head and I'll move it over here. So I'm still recording from this microphone as we speak. So all I'm trying to do is to see if it is truly omnidirectional or if it's just a, a bidirectional microphone, which would be really annoying. Uh, okay, let's put it back on. Cool, so now we're back to the iPhone built-in microphone. So what do you guys think? Good, bad? 
we'll soon find out, I suppose. So again, just to recap, this is the Movo LV1 microphone bought from Amazon for $16.99. Quite a good price, really, when you consider the fact of the cost of some microphones out there. Also because it can be used on both smartphones and cameras, audio recorders in your PC, maybe. Uh, so we've trialled it against this 99p microphone, no power source whatsoever. The Apple iPhone microphone handset. You see, I'm not sure if this is actually powered or not in these. And the Movo itself comes with the jack, the microphone headphone splitter, and then the Movo itself with the ridiculously awesome six meter length cable. Just to, if you shoot videos on iPhone, you'll know what that's like because you've got to be near your iPhone to be able to shoot the videos for the audio to be picked up. So to have this flexibility means that you can set your iPhone now in different positions, get your better camera angles, which is always good to have. Uh, and hopefully as well, the audio is going to be pretty fantastic because the, the microphone is on one side of the iPhone with this microphone, that's not going to be an issue. So thanks for watching guys. Now I can get on and start making other videos to keep you guys happy. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.